There is no doubt that today, Ferrari is making their fastest and most advanced cars ever, with horsepower pushing the realm of 1,000, electric steering, lightning fast double clutch gearboxes with paddles and all-wheel drive. Some, however, lament the fact that with these steps towards the future, Ferrari and many other supercar manufacturers have taken a step back in one of the most important categories, involvement and character, or as some may call it, soul. Then on the road, what we really dream about is driving a Ferrari with a bit less power and a manual gearbox. Still extremely fast, mind you, but crucially, extremely involving. Well, to get such involvement, might I suggest disposing of the four-wheeled life in favor of one found on two, motorcycles. Still though, on today's top line of superbikes, the involvement is there, but the power means you need a racetrack. That brings me to a different bike. Still enough power to outrun the cops, but also enough space left for you to connect with the ride. Quick shifter for upshifting, but you're left to rev match when dropping a gear all on your own. Red paint, Italian racer meets American muscle car exhaust, and a little Italian motorsport character thrown in for good measure. I'm talking about the Panigale 959. So I really wanted to be able to shoot this outside in front of the bike. I've been planning this for a few weeks now, now that I've been kind of around the six month mark of ownership, but it is just brutally cold. So unfortunately I'm here inside at my desk in my office. I'm going to get some beauty shots of the bike as well. I'll probably throw those in the start of the video, but let's jump in. I'm going to try and keep this sh as short as possible and be concise, talk about the high points living with this motorcycle. Some of the things that I don't like. And I'm going to compare what living with this bike has been like uh, in comparison to some of the other Ducatis that I've owned. So someone living primarily in the city, I have exclusively ridden naked bikes up until uh, the Panigale. And, you know, my first motorcycle ever was a 696 Monster. And that really kind of sparked my love for the brand uh, from the start. You know, obviously... An air-cooled naked monster is entirely different than a water-cooled, uh, you know, Italian superbike. But the vein, the soul of Ducati is still there in these two motorcycles. And even though they're drastically different to ride, it gives you the same feeling, which is really what I was looking for uh, when I started searching for my new motorcycle. Um, you know, my list of bikes has been the 696 Street Fighter 848, and then I had an 1100 Evo because I love the 696 so much. I just wanted to upgrade to something that had a little bit more power, a little bit more premium materials, and that's when I had the 1100 Evo. So let's get to the main point here. What is it like to live with this motorcycle on a daily basis? And in a few words for me, it's been absolutely awesome. It's been a bike that I'm comfortable riding to and from the shops, in the city, in traffic. Um, and it's a bike that I love for when I'm going on fast highway rides with my buddies or taking it on the back roads. 
It is the most locked in that I've ever felt on a motorcycle. The lean in, the, the way that it handles the corners, the grip, the, it's really just confidence inspiring, which is the biggest element for me and something that has just made me feel like I don't have to think or anticipate when I'm on this bike. The other bikes I would be thinking about every all of my movements, you know, especially when I took them in situations where I was really looking to go fast and I was really looking to lean into the corners. The Panigale 959 to me is almost telepathic, which is hard to explain, but if you ride it, you'll understand what I mean. It just doesn't require you to be constantly thinking about it, or at least it doesn't for me. I just feel like I can throw the bike in, hold it, commit, and lean, and it'll it'll take the line. And, and that's something that is really an enjoyable experience when you're looking for a bike that's high performance and one that you can really trust and be confident with in on the back roads and on the track. So that's one of the key elements for me that really has made me fall in, fall in love with this bike, essentially. You know, another uh, piece that makes it really enjoyable for even just daily riding is it's, it's easy. I, I mean, it's obviously a more aggressive riding position, but you know, especially the air-cooled older uh, monsters and even the Street Fighter were just a bit more jerky around town. The clutches were heavier. It They really didn't like to go slow. And this bike doesn't either. It's definitely most uncomfortable when you're in traffic, but it is a lot easier and a lot smoother to go, you know, start and stop and just control the bike at low speeds around town. And it's incredibly lightweight. So just changing directions or dealing with the bike in traffic around town, it just it's not difficult and you know I did initially miss some of it uh, some of the character with the older bikes just being a hassle to have around town and in the winter time they wouldn't start you know that was definitely something that made my you know was part of my motorcycle ownership that made it seem special to me and so initially I was a little bit disappointed that this bike didn't feel as flawed as the bikes that I had before but over time you know I realized that this bike still is a Ducati still has a ton of character but it just offers it in a package that, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy impressive to me that you can have a super bike that is capable of, you know, being faster around a track than some, you know, sports cars in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, but then is also perfectly comfortable if you're just taking it downtown to grab a bagel. So for me, owning this bike has been my favorite uh, motorcycle ownership experience so far. It's been a bike that no matter the situation, I've, I've been happy to get on it and, and stay on it for long periods of time. It does get uncomfortable after a few hours in highway miles, but that's just not something you really wanna be doing on a bike like this anyways. But if you're looking for a two hour run out of the city, out on the back roads, uh, you know, this bike is gonna be very confidence inspiring and it's going to be a blast. And it makes you a better rider. Or if you're looking to, you know, throw your girlfriend on the back and go to the bars or go to the coffee shop, uh, it's comfortable and it's fun and it turns a lot of heads in the city too. So it really is a do-it-all, jack-of-all-trades motorcycle. And in reference to the, the monologue that I had going to start this video, you know, being someone who is a car guy and you know, I've come from cars before I ended up getting into motorcycles, and it's been, and as someone who really laments the, the the direction that a lot of car manufacturers are heading, moving away from the manual transmission, sort of making the whole driving experience a bit more muted and a bit more handheld for you as the driver, you know, even some of the the best cars that are being made by the likes of Ferrari, McLaren, Audi, BMW, they just have lost a little bit of that something in terms of driver connection. And the great thing about motorcycles is. Even with the improvements in tech, they still are creating machines that are incredibly involving and very engaging. And I've done a few things to it. I mean, one of the biggest problems with motorcycles in general is that horribly ugly uh, tail section. So I've done a tail tidy, I've put on bar end mirrors, um, I've wrapped it, I did a custom Nardo gray wrap, I've changed the headlights. I've thrown on a bit of carbon pieces and I'm going to be doing exhaust and a few more things and I'll be filming that as well so be sure to keep following my videos to be up to date on that. I'm basically building my perfect 959, my perfect Panigale street bike for daily riding and for the track and for the back roads. I'm really looking to build something that I'm a great rider on, I can ride every single day, I can use all of on the street and I think that is really what makes this 959 special like I said before. So that's it for me guys. I hope this video wasn't 
too long. I really just wanted to kind of cover the key points that, you know, made me fall in love with the bike. This is the six month overview. I haven't had any problems with it so far outside of just a normal standard uh, thousand mile service after I've broken the motorcycle. Um, I'll keep you up to date as to how things progress in the future. And I'm gonna be doing videos about all the different pieces and modifications that I'm gonna be adding to this bike. And there's gonna be some other videos of, as well when I take it to the track and do some trips with it. But if you haven't already, drop a like on this video if you've been enjoying my videos and subscribe to the channel. I'm still shooting for my 300 subscriber goal. We are slowly moving ahead um, and I'm putting out a video per week. That's my goal for the rest of this year and into 2021. Hopefully that's a better year than 2020. But yeah, I hope you guys are here to stay. I'm glad to have you. And for those who have been watching my videos and subscribed to me so far, thank you very much and keep a lookout.